Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to direct to The X-Files Season 2, Episode oh, Very excited to watch this, you guys. Um, before we get into it, though, please don't forget to go check out Patreon. As I keep telling you guys, just go check it out. The link is down below in the description box. Um, it has everything weeks in advance and fully uncut, unedited, uncovered, all of it. Plus, there's Patreon exclusive shows that you might want to check out. Shows that are only on Patreon, not going to come, in, not being edited for YouTube at all, not coming at all, just on Patreon, and they're coming all the time. So go check that out. Okay. Uh, other than that, I really hope you enjoy this. And without further ado, here we go. Uh, New York City. Some weird footage, though. Oh, just falling asleep on the couch. Uh, something about falling asleep on the couch is just sometimes so much better. And that couch looks comfy. Oh, what the? Fire? Don't touch the doorknob. Don't touch the doorknob. Oh. Oh. Oh, there are fire escapes everywhere here in New York City, in every place. What are you grabbing? What are you grabbing? Oh, uh, it's something, but I don't think it's really gonna do anything. Oh god, that did that did not help at all. Look. Okay, find an escape now. This is not helping. Oh god, it is huge. What? He did it, this guy. Yeah. Evil smile. What? Where the fire? I don't see. What? What the hell? Take a bedroom. He looks dead. Is it like a fear thing? Make people see their worst fears and they die from fear kind of thing? Is that it? Oh. Someone's leaving you little notes. Little love notes. Of dead people. <laughs> He looks really good in this shirt with the pants and casual. That's my once an episode. Just came on really early, actually. <laughs> First time seeing him. Maybe it's because I haven't watched an episode in a couple days. Oh. Christmas Company had a number of government contracts which would place this investigation within the Bureau's jurisdiction. Yeah. But that's not why you want the assignment. Because it's weird. <laughs> it's spooky. Where'd you get the tape? Huh, yeah. Presumably someone has led you to believe there's more here than is being reported. Because there is. My source, the only one I've ever trusted is dead. Ooh. But you know. In the meantime, you have 24 hours of wiretap tape that need to be transcribed. Damn. That sounds rough. Bimbo, who ain't got nothing better to do with... That sounds miserable to do. Oh, that actor. He looks different, but I recognize him. I can't remember from where, though. There's a mistake here. There's been another agent assigned to the case. Oh, that would be me. Oh, he has to work with you? Check. Alex Karchak. Good check. Skinner didn't say anything about taking on a partner. Uh huh. Actually, I opened the file two hours before your request, so technically it's it's my case. Oh, you're this partner. <laughs> Horton. Turns out Grissom called 911 to report a fire. I heard the tape. Uh -huh. Did you hear that uh, Fred, the walls and floor in his living room were covered with ammonium phosphate? But no trace of fire. Yeah. Not even a burnt match. What do you think it means? Listen, I appreciate the show and tell. I don't want you to take this personally, but I work alone. <laughs> Mulder, you could survive one case working with someone. 
I may be green, but I had the case first. I'm not going to give it away so quickly. He's right. He's fair. Honestly. Molly, you got to calm down. Work with him. Why don't you get out of the motor pool and requisition us a car and I'll, I'll meet you down there. He's going to... No. He's and about you, to you ditch don't you. don't have a problem with this working again? He does. It's your party. Well, um... I'll get the car. Oh, he's so young. So naive. Oh, Scully. Surgeon. Excuse me. Where are you? Yeah, National George Airport. Hale. Dr. Grissom Bell. A sleep disorder center. Revolutionized the way we think about sleep. Interesting. That was a tremendous loss for the scientific community. How many other kinds of sleep disorder did he treat? There are 38. And he died from like some kind of nightmare, so that could be something. Occipital lobe creates simple visual and auditory hallucinations. So it's actually possible to alter somebody's dream? Interesting. In theory, yes. So that could have been done to the doctor. Dex is gone. I have a feeling. I paid yep. off your cap. Now, I don't appreciate being ditched like someone's bad date. <laughs> I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. <laughs> He's not. Get off copy. I mean, you don't know the first thing about me. Exactly. Yeah. You know, back <laughs> at the academy, some of the guys used to make fun of you. Oh, stop it. Are you going to hurt my feelings? <laughs> Believe what you were doing because we knew there was more out there than they were telling us. You got followers. You got fans. I'm a fan. Yeah. Dr. Grissom didn't die from cardiac arrest. Oh. So what is it? I think you should come back up here and take a look for yourself. Ooh. I can make it in two hours. <laughs> Where are we going? I think you're kind of stuck with him. Just take it for a ride for a while. Oh, uh, this is Alex Krychik. We're working the case together. Mm. Good to meet you. <laughs> She's like, oh, good luck to this guy. <laughs> Notice the pugilistic attitude of the court. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> so, he, this first time, I'm guessing? For several hours after death. It's caused by a coagulation of muscle proteins when the body is exposed to extremely high temperatures. Oh. Like fire? Exclusively in burn-related victims. There was no fire. And no epidermal burns to indicate as much. But when he I, internally was by fire. I found extradural hemorrhages, which can only be caused by intense heat. <sighs> Somehow, this man suffered all of the secondary, but none of the primary physiological responses to having been in a fire. That's bizarre. Any theories? I, I mean, it's almost as if... What? Say it. His body believed that it was burning. Yeah. In his head, in a dream, he believed he was on fire. He believed it so much he was. Um, that happened to this guy too now, as he falls asleep. What's that? Oh, who the? Oh, it's the guy who did it. Preacher? Preacher. Not a good idea leaving the door open. This guy always plays a bad guy. Always. Who's gonna drop by? Damn. What are you doing here? Were they part of the doctor's, like, experiments? How you doing? Huh? <laughs> I can be Oh, Lord. You look so little crazy. Am I doing? Don't look like you've been sleeping. Forget. Yeah. What? I'm trying to get it out of my head. What? Forget Fuck. what? I'm uh, still fighting it, you know? PTSD? Keep they, seeing your faces. Were they soldiers? Every day. I see. Ah, what's the difference? So what's the connection with the hell, right? them being soldiers and the science doctor? You killed him, didn't you? Ooh. You killed 
killed Grissom. I saw it on TV. Oh, uh, was he part with them or something? Was he a soldier? All of us have the hands of the Lord. Was he a doctor? Uh, over there. Oh, oh, whoa. Did, did they go to war and kill a bunch of people? Now he's going around. Not his anger forever. Because he delights in mercy. Uh -huh. He will turn again. He will have compassion on us. He? It's all right, Henry. It's all over now. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be a rough way to die. So, is this man bringing ghosts around to kill? Using ghosts or something to kill? I don't... There's so many different things that could be happening. Victim's Seems like they all Willard. went to war, like Victoria Vietnam or something, Victoria. and killed people, and they did something really bad, and now this one man from the team is getting revenge on everyone, making them all feel it. Not without some kind of corresponding external trauma. What does the ME have to say about this? He said if you didn't know otherwise, that's why there were gunshot wounds. Yep. For history, the only surgery he ever had was an appendectomy. Well, unless they got to his appendix through his neck. Yeah, then what the hell is it that? It happened in Vietnam. Oh, uh -huh, Vietnam. He did a tour with the Marines in 1970. And what about the doctor? Where Grissom was stationed from 1968 to 1971. Oh. Uh -huh. Which means that he and Willard were there at the same time. Yep. We have a connection. Willig was assigned to Special Force and Recon Squad J7. 13 original members. He's one of two survivors. Oh. Yesterday. Which leaves us with one person who can tell us what happened. Creature. Augustus Cole. Who's that? We just want to ask him a few questions about his military service. He doesn't respond very well to authority figures. Oh, fun. Is that why you put him in? He was interfering with our treatment of the other patients. How was he interfering? He was disrupting their sleep patterns. Oh. Does he, can he travel through dreams? But exactly how would Cole disrupt their sleep? Here we are. Well, that's ominous. Cole? There's some gentlemen here to... Is he not there? He escaped. Yep. You discharged him two days ago. Oh. Yourself. That, that is your signature. Made him do it in his sleep or something? Yep, it's him, preacher. You must exercise discretion when we meet. If anyone follows you, I won't be there. Oh. Was the reason was this partner guy put with him to find out who this person is? Did Skinner put him on to try to figure it out? To watch him? Who this? Who are you? Who I am is irrelevant. No, it's pretty relevant. You're the new dude, though. Trying to help me? What is it? Data from a top secret military project. Oh. Born of the idea that sleep is the soldier's greatest enemy. Oh. No, sleep is a great, great thing. Someone was conducting sleep deprivation experiments on Paris Island. Oh. Not deprivation. Eradication. You ra oh, God. Why else? To build a better soldier. No. Sustained wakefulness dulls fear. Don't never get rid of sleep. Science had just put a man on the moon. So they looked to science to win a losing war. So they're like, oh, yeah, sleep. We hate that. Lab rats, lab rats with the highest kill ratio in the Marine Corps. Wow. 4,000 plus confirmed kills. Damn. Shit. Shit. think Cole's behind what's happening now. I'm not here to do your thinking, Agent. <laughs> He's just giving you some info. All I know is Augustus Cole hasn't slept in 24 years. Damn. So he's crazy. There's someone, another member of the squad who was reportedly killed in action. I saw Cole reportedly. His name is on the envelope. Oh. Well, how do I contact? You can't. <laughs> I may need more. You still don't get it. Y yeah, you're not getting him. Hold on. Closing the X files, separating you and Scully was only the beginning. Oh. The truth is still out there. Ooh, yes it is. But it's never been more dangerous. Oh, what does that mean? The man we both knew paid 
transfer that information with his life. The other guys, other deep throat. A sacrifice I'm not willing to make. Hmm. This guy's a little more cautious. He's like, I'm not dying like my predecessor. I'm gonna help you, but I'm, I have limits. And it's fair. Last one was killed. And he's being watched, isn't he? By the other guy. Yeah, hide that. Where were you? Someone matching Cole's description just robbed a drugstore in Queens. Oh. Uh, Police are located him in a motel. Guys, back for getting a little antsy. Whatever it's worth, Cole didn't steal dime once from that drugstore. It's a bunch of pills. Just stay awake, probably. Oh God. Down. Uh, officer down. Oh shit. We got two officers down. Wow, he's fast. How did you get down from the window there? Oh, he's right there. These two officers, they shot each other. What? How do you get them to do that? Designed to induce a permanent waking state. The procedure involved cutting part of the brain stem in the midfrontile region. Oh, God. Which would explain Henry Willis. Post-op treatment included a regimen of synthetic supplements to replenish the organic deficits caused by prolonged... So this is what he gave them? This is consistent with the antidepressants Damn. Cole robbed from the pharmacy. These drugs maintain serotonin levels in the blood. Serotonin... Uh possible that this procedure greatly diminished the subject's need for sleep. I can neither quantify nor substantiate its success without further clinical evidence. Yeah. They're incredible. Well, the military already sent troops through radioactive mushroom clouds. I guess they figured they had to top themselves. Right? Yeah, they really Sleep eradication tried to still do it all. Explain the shooting of the well, what if that stimulus were to come from a remote source? What if Cole has somehow developed the ability to project his unconscious? Yeah. To make people see things. Killed those people with telepathic image? Maybe. In all those years without REM sleep, maybe Cole built a bridge between the waking world yeah. and the dream world. By existing consciously in the unconscious world, he's, he's developed the ability to externalize his dreams and effectively alter reality. I could see it, yeah. You'll have a much better chance of finding Cole if you work up a profile and try and surmise his next move. Yeah, that you can also do. Where are you going? We're going to check on another member of the squad, see if he can tell us something about Cole. Sounds like your new partner's working out. Mm -hmm. He's all right. He's not as good as you. Some uh, wardrobe advice, but he's a lot more <laughs> open to extreme possibilities than... Than I was? Than I assumed he would be. <laughs> Must be nice not having someone questioning your every move, poking holes in all your theories. I don't know. He yeah. misses Scully. Wait, I, I'm surprised I could put up with you for so long. <laughs> I want Scully back in the fe out in the field with him. It feels like I hate her just being stuck in the lab in the office. I'll uh, read over this report again and see what else I can come up with. Okay. Oh, that was a nice moment. Yeah, definitely that guy. He looks like he hasn't slept in a long time. We're with the FBI. We just wanted to ask you some questions. Why did you think we were here to kill you? Because all of the friends are dead. Yeah, I guess so. I got a break coming up. Ah, uh, there's the neck thing. Yeah, something like that. Something like that? They all, did they all lose their mind and kill innocents? Yeah. We just made up missions as we went along. Wow, that's not... Until it didn't matter anymore. Farmers, women. Yeah. Outside of Fubai, there was this school. And, uh, oh, shit. They were just kids. Oh, God. No one ever tried to stop you? No, sir. They made these super soldiers who never slept and then just let them loose and let them go crazy. That's what we used to call him on account that he was always reading from his Bible, you know, saying this and that about Judgment Day, saying that one day we were going to have to pay for what And we now were. he's making Judgment Day happen, yeah? That 
that's that's what he said back then. That's that's what he say. But why Grissom? He was never in country. He wasn't even part of the squadron. Well, he's part of the experiments, wasn't he? Oh, he was. He made us what we oh, are. That yeah, that's what I thought. Him and Dr. Girardi. Dr. Dr. Girardi. Dr. Girardi on the project, the one who did the surgeries on us. So because of him. Dr. Girardi's next then. I haven't slept the night in 24 years. Oh my god, that sounds awful. I love sleep. It's so nice. It's so fun. Ugh, the traffic. Why you think Cole will go after Cole sees what do you mean? How do you not Benji. see that? He's gone after everyone that's been left alive from there, and he's the one guy. What do you think? Yeah. Why now? Why after all these years? That's the question. Dubai was one of the bloodiest for over 300 children slaughtered. But unlike me lying, no U.S. troops were ever charged. The guilt got you at some point. The 24th anniversary of the massacre was two days ago. Oh, uh, that's it. Alder. I think I found the Francis Girardi you're looking for. Nice. He's a professor of neuro at Harvard. Do you have his number in Boston? Yes, except he's coming to New York for Bristol's oh. funeral. Oh, oh. When? We'll try to have a photograph waiting for us at the security desk so we know who we're looking for, okay? Got it. Okay. I gotta find him before Preacher does. And this traffic is gonna make it quite a nightmare. Yep. Calder, FBI, you got a photo for me? Right here. Oof, they're running. Sprinter. Ah, uh, preachers there. There he is. Find out the position. people look there it's gone fast they're moving fast there he is uh 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 preacher oh shit oh shit it was a dream wasn't it he didn't actually get shot oh shit but he still could be hurt Preacher got to him. Got to him. Girardi! Where is he? Girardi's not here. Oh. I saw him. He was. Yeah. Mulder. Preacher got him. But Girardi never showed. No, Girardi was here. We so was saw Girardi. him. Oh, he gave you a dream. He, he showed you what you wanted to see. Yeah, I would have seen him. I'm telling you, Mulder, they, they weren't here. There's gotta be cameras. With all these cameras, we should be able to see something. Can we talk for a second? Yeah, train stations have a lot of cameras. They should be able to find it. If he was over there. What's the problem? Why you stop answering my question about what happened? What do you think happened, genius? Girardi, when you just about killed someone back there. You didn't kill anyone. Alright, what do you want to know? Is the truth? There's things you're not telling me that I need to know. You should kind of let him in. I told you I want to believe, but I need a place to start. He wants to believe. I don't know if I trust him 100%, but it doesn't have to tell him about this one case. It's the psychic ability to manipulate sounds and images to generate illusions. Let's see his reaction to this. It's all new spin on virtual reality. But yeah. At least it begins to explain some things. Okay, it's good normal. reaction. Not mad about that. Good. He wasn't like, you're crazy. So, that's that. In the upper right corner? Yeah. Uh... Five minutes ago. Okay, car. What are you doing? Oh, uh, are you gonna do experiments on him now? Why aren't you killing him like the others? Is it because he's the one that actually did the surgery? I was following orders, just like you. The Lord hates the lying tongue. It's the truth. Oh, God. He shall pay as the judges determine. He shall give life for life, eye for eye, 
tooth for two. It's all the soldiers he did surgery on. And they're all coming to get him now. I don't like how bad these flashlights are. They only light up like this one section here. Like we need a little bit wide of a light. A lantern maybe. Ooh. He did. Where's Preacher though? He's still alive. Oh. Put pressure on the wound. Uh, this is Agent Crycheck requesting emergency assistance. My location is track 17 in a freight warehouse. Hey Mulder, don't fall for anything he makes you see. Oh, he's gonna kill himself now? He's like, I did my work. I did all of it, all of them, and now I'm gotta suffer myself. That's not why I came up here. Putting down my gun. This show has very dark lighting sometimes, but they really do not like to show things. You do whatever you want. Anytime it's night shooting in a place, it's like real dark. Oh. But maybe your testimony can help. Get out of piece of my brain. Yeah, I think they made me into somebody else. He has suffered so long with all this, he wants to finally sleep. Get back what they took away from me. Yeah. But I can stop them. Removing part of your brain isn't fixable. He's making him see it. Right, Jake, I said put down the He doesn't have a gun in his hand, does he? It's a Bible, yep. You can't blame him because he's forcing him to see things just like Mulder saw things before. But he did shoot an armless man. I mean, not armed, not threatening you, he's just standing there. Not good. But it's what he wanted. He did the right thing. He did. For what he saw and what he knew, he sh he was protecting Mulder. He didn't know it was a Bible. Oh, it's not there. Damn. Did his office. partner take it? As soon as security called, but the report was already gone. Oh, damn. Someone went to a lot of trouble stealing both our copies to keep this. Yeah. Secret. Without that report as evidence, Skinner's not going to authorize an investigation. Yeah. He said it's never been more dangerous. Someone's covering the shit up. He said the closing down the X-Files was just the beginning. That we've never been in greater danger. What does that mean? Do you trust him? Not at all. I wouldn't. But... So listen to him. Smoker, is that the person who has it? And it was probably his partner that grabbed it, right? You said to watch him. You know where he got yep, it. Yep, it was Smokey. Not yet. And yep, could check. But he got it. But another source. Or another source has found him. Yeah, another source found him. I this man's not good, and I knew the partner was not. You'll see that I've outlined several countermeasures. Oh. Counter... What do you plan on doing, bitch? Reassigning them to other sections seems only to have strengthened their determination. Yeah, really. Scully's a problem. Oh, uh, uh, what are you gonna do? No? A much larger problem than you described. Oh, God. But every problem has a solution. I don't like what you're trying to say here. What are you about to do to Scully? Touch Scully and I swear to God. Oh, this is gonna get crazy. So we have soldiers that were experimented on to never sleep so they could be 
soldiers 24-7, and they lost their mind and killed a lot of innocent people, and this one man that's part of it decided to kill everyone else that was part of it, and then himself, and he is able to project dreams and make things people see things in their head. And killed them by that, which is very interesting, very fascinating. The fire, the gunshots, very interesting. And then we have Mulder, who has a new partner, who I knew, knew, obviously, was sent and by the the smoker guy, Mr. Smokey, <clears throat> to watch after Mulder and Scully and see and report back and make a plan to somehow make them not a problem. I don't like that. And Scully, him saying Scully was a big problem, it's not good. No, no, no. We do not touch Scully. Touch Scully, you die. Touch Mulder, you die. I don't like this man. I don't like this man at all. Mm -mm -mm. I knew I didn't. And you know where I remember where I recognized him from? Kyle XY. Which I know comes after this, but Kyle XY, I remember him from that. That's why I was like, I knew I recognized him somewhere. Kyle XY, maybe something else, but as right now, I'm thinking, I can only think of Kyle XY. But, um, that's not good. And those countermeasures, um, what are these countermeasures that they're going to do to keep them apart? They know that he has a new, um, what was the, um, a new, um, secret informant. I'll just, because I can't think of that word right now. <laughs> Um, that I said multiple times this episode. But, um, yeah, he has a new guy who we actually met, Mulder met. Um, and he's, like, warning you, things are only about to get worse, stuff like that. And it's true. And he gave him information. But then all the information was taken by his new partner. Uh, there's some government conspiracy cover-up shit going on. And I need answers. I need to know what's going on. Who do we trust? Do we not trust Skinner? Do we Do we trust him? He did seem to talk back to the smoke guy, so maybe he can be trusted and he's trying his best, but he knows something's going on and he can't do too much. But then who, if the deputy head of the FBI can't, who's the smoke guy? If he's above him, like, who, the, who is he? What kind of power does he have in the government? Like, is he, I don't know. We don't know who the president is either. Does the president know all about this? Who knows about this? Who in the government knows about this and what are they doing? I'm intrigued. I need answers. I have a feeling I'm going to see more of the Kutchik guy. I have to check what his name actually is because it sounded like Kutchik. But I honestly don't know. They said it like once or twice. But if he's Mulder's partner a little bit more, that could be a problem. If they try to get rid of Scully be a problem for me for Mulder it'll be a problem Mulder will kill anyone if they go after Scully no okay <laughs> thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out patreon in the link down below and have a fantastic day as well so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye